I know little to nothing about Judaism. I dated a Jew once though. I saw Prince of Egypt. Yeah, I'm excited. I love learning about different cultures. We are going to retell the story of the leaving of Egypt together. So if you look at the table, we have all these different foods that are gonna allow us to eat through the journey. How better to learn a story than to eat a story? So one of the things you might wanna keep in mind when we think about this Seder, and I invite you to think of that now, is is there anything in your own life you're trying to move towards freedom with? My favorite part was all the wine drinking, certainly. Um, the, uh, it's, it's interesting, it's like a lot of fun. It's just a lot of like tradition. So let's take the karpas, the spring vegetable. And so we're gonna mix the taste of spring and new life with the experience of the pain of slavery. It's not too bad though, after having the really sweet wine. Like I know, it kind of cleanses okay. the palate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just like a lot of fun and interactive. So who's the youngest here at our Seder table? Uh, That's me. you. Okay, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> So I'll ask it. Manish tana halayla hazem miko halaylot. How is this night different from all other nights? Put the horseradish and the haroset and make a little sandwich with your matzah. Because if you want to keep in mind that in life there's going to be bitterness and there's going to be sweetness, right? You can't get one without the other. Yep. Swallow it. Yep. <laughs> I'll take some more horseradish. Honey, you can have the whole bottle. <laughs> I mean, it's like apple pie and then... Ooh! Worst, worst, worst radish pairs with nothing. Yep. No. So this is the cup for Elijah, Eliyahu Hanavi, Elijah the prophet. If he doesn't show up, do you like pour a little bit out? No. Oh, Somehow the magic is for the homies. Being around like people that I knew and just enjoying their company and kind of experiencing um, a story and traditions that I wasn't really familiar with. The reading together was pretty fun, and the songs kind of reminded me of elementary school. Um, it kind of made like the whole thing a little like more special, and I feel like I got closer to these people. I think that place of knowing that our stories in each of our cultures are so important. Our stories shape who we are, how we imagine our past and imagine our future. Always teaches me more about my own tradition when I get to share it with folks for whom it's new. I think the last piece that really is about the Seder is let's try and make a world that's a beautiful place for everyone to be, where we can all be free. This feels like double dare. Where is it? I found it! I found it! I found it! No. It was right here the whole time! You're not sharing. Well. Happy birthday, <laughs>